Well, I got her hoisted up onto here. <clears throat> uh, I was planning on using that, but it was a little close to the car, so I just grabbed it and hauled it up here. It's not real light, but uh, I made it work. And then uh, when I was under the car, I wasn't sure how these lines came off. I didn't really look at them, so I just uh, took them off where they were uh, spliced. And somebody spliced them at one time. But then I got to look at them and uh, realized they were just push connect fittings and I happen to have the exact right tool. So you just get it around there, push it in all the way, and then uh, pull on the line, and they pop right out like that. All right, well now that I got those lines off and uh, safely stowed away on my floor, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clean up the case a little bit, just so that uh, less dirt you know, enters the transmission as I'm uh, working on it. So once I have that done, we'll come back and start taking it apart. Well, I'm going to go ahead and start taking it apart. First thing I'm going to take off is the neutral safety switch, which I've already loosened with my wrench there. And we'll take that out and set it aside. And then what I'm going to do is take off these six extension housing bolts and take that out, off and out of the way. Uh, I'm thinking this transmission has been opened up before. I'm not positive, but uh, it looks like it's been painted silver. It's got some silver coating on it. And on top of that, it's got a blue torque converter. And I've never seen either one of those in a factory Ford transmission. But uh, eh, it doesn't matter. It's coming apart again. It uh, doesn't have third gear. It was, that's what was wrong with it. So I'm thinking that the uh, uh, direct clutch is... It's gone bad. You know, it's all burnt up. We'll figure it out when we get in there, though. All right, well, I've got the uh, extension housing off. I can just set that aside along with the bolts. And my next step is going to be to take this governor off. That'd be this thing right here. Uh, there's a snap ring. I don't know how well you can see it, but there's a snap ring right here. i got to open up, take that off, and then uh, this whole unit will slide back and there's a little ball in there a check ball that you got to make sure you get and you don't lose so you can put it back on there later well there's a the snap ring got her off and I one of these days I'm going to buy an actual nice set of snap ring pliers but not today and now we just pull this governor off pull it back just slides off like that and this is that little ball that you don't want to lose right there so now that I got that off I can go ahead and uh, I'm going to pull this direct drive shaft out just like that and then I'm going to go ahead and pick the whole thing up and tip it and lay it on its bell housing so that I can get into the uh, valve body well, I've got it tipped up and I've got the uh, transmission pan off of it. Uh, had a little more fluid than I thought I did in it, but uh, that's all right. I got a nice little drain pan there. I really don't care if this table gets dirty, so. Next step is going to be to take this uh, transmission filter off and then take the valve body off. All right, I got the uh, filter off. When you take that off, a bunch of a uh, bunch more fluid is going to come out and this is the valve body here and I'm going to start by taking apart or taking off the uh, eight shorter bolts which are this one this one this one and these four on the bottom right there and then this one here and I'm going to put those in a little separate pile and remember where they go and then I'm going to go ahead and take off all the rest of the bolts which are a little bit longer so I'll get that done and I'll pull this off and set it aside and we'll go from there. Alright, I got the uh, valve body off. Uh, there's my eight little bolts, my 16 large bolts and then the uh, uh, big bolt with the detent on it. And then uh, all you got to do is pull it off. Now you don't have to worry about <coughs> losing those little balls because there's a steel plate that should stay attached. Uh, with this one bolt here to the valve body so all the little uh, check balls and everything should uh, 
stay right where they're at. But uh, as soon as I opened this up, I knew that somebody had been in this transmission before because there's letters all over that gasket, which basically tells me it's not stock. And uh, another thing that I noticed uh, was there scratch marks. I don't know if you can see them very well, maybe if I put the light a certain way. But there's scratch marks right in here from when they put the uh, snap ring back in. And of course there's a, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there's this black stuff right there. That's burnt clutch material, That's basically what that is. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put all my bolts away and then uh, start popping these bad boys out. Alright, I've got the uh, 2 3 accumulator out. That's basically how it, how it was in there, like that with the little plate on top and that snap ring so that just pulled right out now next I'm going to do the uh, low reverse servo there's just another snap ring there pop that out and pull it out well I got the uh, low reverse servo out it's got that nice spring in there so it kind of just shot out at me uh, it's got this kind of snap ring which is a little bit different than the other one but looks pretty nasty yeah so next one next one to do is the uh, overdrive servo exact same uh, setup with that snap ring so hopefully I won't uh, shoot stuff too far all right got the overdrive piston out now it's on to the 3-4 accumulator yeah and this thing should uh, actually there we go yep comes apart in two pieces like that so I'll set that aside and then pull that one out all right I got the 3-4 uh, accumulator out as you can see and now next up is uh, this linkage basically I'll pull that spring off underneath slide that all out of there take that nut off and then there's this little roll pin right there and I'll have to pull that out and then the rest should just uh, to just come along so I'll get to it all right I've got the uh, shift linkages all out of here and I also took out the parking pole which is real easy you just uh, pull the pin that's up here and then it flies out and smacks you in the head and uh, nothing to it there so now all I got to do is uh, clean off this bench and then I'm going to lay this down again uh, so I can have access to the pump in the front here and then I'll start ripping the guts out.